How do you convert from grams to moles? The short answer is you take grams and divide it by the molar mass, which is in grams per mole from the periodic table. Your teacher's probably giving you this formula. You just have to remember that that's moles equals grams over molar mass. Some teachers will give you this triangle where if you're looking for the number of moles, you cover it up with your thumb. It's mass over molar mass. How many moles are in 80 grams of copper? Well, you'll use the formula moles equals mass over molar mass. The number of grams is given to you in the question. It's 80. The molar mass, capital M, is read from the periodic table for pure elements like copper, 63.546 grams per mole here. All you'll need to do is do that on your calculator. That's 80 divided by 63.546. I get an answer of 1.2589. That is in moles because these units of grams cancel out and you're probably being asked for significant figures at this point in your career. You were given three significant figures here. So you should give your answer here as 1.26 moles. Great work. I don't know how you're supposed to show your equal sign. Sometimes we do equal sign with a dot on it. Now, let's do a couple more of these. If you, if you get the idea, you're done here. But how many moles of molecules are in 102 grams of PCl3? Well, the number of moles is mass over molar mass. That's 102 grams divided by huh, the molar mass of PCl3. Now, that's actually tougher because there's more than one atom there. It's made of a phosphorus. 30.974 for me. And you're going to add three chlorines and each of those chlorines weighs 35.453. Use as many decimal places as the periodic table your teacher gave you uses. The molar mass of PCl3 then is that phosphorus 30.974 plus three 35.453s. In total, that's 137.333 grams per mole. You're doing that whole calculation just so you have a capital M to put into the formula. I know it feels like work, but hey, there's marks for it. The number of moles is 102 divided by that molar mass that we just calculated. That gives me 0 0.74272. Yep, 0 0.74272. That is in moles. And again, with the significant figures, this one had six significant figures in the end, but we started off with just three in the original number of grams there, which means we have to round this to three significant figures. That's seven, four, three moles, approximately. Cool. We're going to do it one more time with seven grams of NaCl. They're asking for the number of moles of formula units. That's the same as molecules, except for ionic compounds. Just throwing it out there. The number of moles is the mass over the molar mass. I already know I'm going to need to calculate the molar mass because it's a sodium, 22.99. And a chlorine. 35.453, combine those two together, 22.990 plus 35.453, that's 58.443 grams per mole. So the number of moles is the number of grams you were given divided by the molar mass, 58.443 grams per mole. Great. On the calculator, that's 7 divided by the answer I got. So that's 0 0.11977 moles. Now you know what I'm about to do here too. It's significant figures. There is only two significant figures here. So this needs to be two significant figures. 0 0.12 moles. 
There you go. But you didn't come here for significant figures. You came here for converting grams into moles. The answer is divide by molar mass. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Best of luck.